emerging stronger from the pandemic. Singapore is gearing up for growth across the air, land and sea. In its addenda to the president's address, the transport ministry highlighted plans underway to expand its infrastructure over the next two years. Now, when the work on Tuas port is completed by the 2040s, it will be able to handle almost double its current volume. The expansion of Singapore's rail network is also on track. And with air passenger traffic expected to recover fully by next year, the Transport Ministry is building up Changi Airport's operational capacity and its readiness to deal with new threats. Terminal 5 is slated to open its doors in the mid-2030s with a design update to make it pandemic resilient and more energy efficient. All of that flying through Singapore will obviously help Singapore. So the kind of jobs it will create it will create anywhere from tech jobs to all the way from taxi drivers to all the way from merchants. So it'll be a vast uh, array of uh, uh, jobs that will be created within Singapore and the periphery that will benefit because of this uh, terminal. In a Facebook post, Transport Minister Esis Warren says that the close partnership between unions, associations, transport operators and the government over the pandemic years has helped build up a deep reservoir of mutual trust. And this is an important foundation as the country has much to look forward to in the next decade. From the construction of Changi Airport's Terminal 5, and the completion of Tuas Port by the 2040s to adding another 100 kilometers to the rail network.